Hello? I see through my glasses. Can you put on a pair of glasses? Hmm. Let's put them down. Hmm. I got a book. Put your hands together. You can make a book too. And then we can open it. Ooh. Oh my goodness! There's a pink snake in there! Shut that book! Let's go again, okay? Here we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness! There's a purple dinosaur in there! Shut that book! Oh. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, 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 I put down my glasses and close up the book last time. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and Close up the book. All right, preschoolers, it's time for us to take a look at our book. Hmm, what do we see here? I see a kiddo. And this kiddo is wearing a very special dress. This is called a jingle dress. We think that this kiddo may be at a very special celebration called a powwow. Let's get out Reading Finger and read the title of our book. Jingle Dancer. Oh, reading Finger jumps down here to the bottom. This is the author's name. This is the person who wrote the... They wrote the words. Let's read their name. Cynthia Leach Smith. And then it says, illustrated by... That means this person. Oh, there's two names. So it was two people. They worked together as a team. They painted the, the pictures. Let's read their names. Cornelius Van Wright and Ying Hao Hu. Let's open up our book. Oh, here's title page. One more time, let's point and read. Jingle Dancer. Turn that page. Tink, tink, tink sang the cone-shaped jingle sewn to Grandma Wolf's dress. Every Grandma Bounce Step brought clattering tinks as light blurred silver against the jingles of tin. Jenna daydreamed at the kitchen table, tasting honey on fry bread, her heart beating to the broom, 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 broom of the powwow drum. Turn that page. As Moon kissed Sun goodnight, Jenna shifted her head on Grandma Wolf's shoulder. I want to jingle dance too. Next powwow, you could dance, girls, Grandma Wolf answered. But we don't have enough time to mail order tunes for rolling jingles. Turn that page. Again and again, Jenna watched a videotape of Grandma Wolf jingle dancing. When Grandma bounce stepped on TV, Jenna bounce stepped on the family room carpet. But Jenna's dress would not be able to sing. It needed four rows, rows of jingles. So here's Jenna practicing. And look at, she's watching Grandma Wolf practicing her bounce steps. Turn that page. As sun fetched morning, Jenna danced east to Great Aunt Sis's porch. Jenna's bounce steps crunched autumn leaves, but her steps didn't jingle. 
Turn that page. Once again, great aunt sis told Jenna a Moskig Creek story about Bat. Although other animals had said he was too small to make a difference, Bat won a ball game by flying high and catching ball in his teeth. Rising sunlight reached through the window pane and flashed against, what was it, hanging in Aunt Sis's bedroom? Jingles on a dress, too long, quiet. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Aunt Sis's dress would lose its voice. You may, Aunt Sis answered, rubbing her calves. My legs don't work so good anymore. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, with a kiss on Aunt Sis's cheek. Now Jenna's dress needed three more rows of jingles. So look at, she saw her great Aunt Sis's rows of jingles and she asked if she could borrow one row. Turn that page. As sun arrived at mid-circle, Jenna skipped south to Mrs. Scott's brand new duplex. At Jenna's side, jingles clinked. Mrs. Scott led Jenna into the kitchen. Once again, Jenna rolled dough and Mrs. Scott fried it. May I borrow enough jingles to make a roll? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Mrs. Scott's dress would lose its voice. You may, said Mrs. Scott, answering as she tossed, tossing flour with her apron. At powwow, I will be busy selling fry bread and Indian tacos. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a high five. Now Jenna's, Jenna's dress needed two more rows of jingles. Turn that page. As Sun caught a glimpse of Moon, Jenna strolled west to Cousin Elizabeth's apartment. At Jenna's side, jingles clanked. Elizabeth arrived home late from the law firm. Once again, Jenna helped Elizabeth carry in her files. Turn that page. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Elizabeth's dress would lose its voice. You may, Elizabeth answered, burrowing through her messy closet for her jingle dress. This weekend I'm working on a big case and I can't go to powwow. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, clasping her cousin's hands. Turn that page. Now Jenna's dress needed one more row of jingles, but she didn't know which way to turn. As moon glowed pale, Jenna shuffled north to Grandma Wolf's house. At Jenna's side, jingles sat silent. High above clouds wavered like worried ghosts. When Jenna tugged open the door, jingles sang tink, 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 tink. Grandma Wolf was jingle dancing on TV. Jenna breathed in every hey, ah, ho, oh, of the powwow song. Her heart beat broom, 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 broom to the pounding of the drum. On family room carpet, beaded moccasins waited for Jenna's feet. She shucked off a sneaker and slipped on a moccasin that was long before danced with Grandma Wolf. Jenna knew where to find her fourth row. Look at these beautiful beaded moccasins. The colors are made up of tiny little beads. Turn that page. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Grandma Wolf's dress would lose its voice. You may, Grandma said with a hug. Now Jenna's dress could sing. Turn that page. Every night that week, Jenna helped Grandma Wolf sew on jingles and bring together the dance regalia. Every night, Jenna practiced her bounce steps. Turn that page. Broom, 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 sounded the drum at the powwow the next weekend. As the light blurred silver, Jenna jingle danced. For great aunt sis whose legs ached, can you see her? 
turn that page for Ms. Scott who sold fried bread, for Elizabeth who worked on her big case, turn that page, and for Grandma Wolf who warmed like the sun, tink, tink, tink. Preschoolers, that's the end of our book. Thank you so much for reading. Hey, preschoolers, it's time for us to stand up and sing goodbye. Can you stand up with me? It's time to say goodbye now. It's time to say goodbye. Blow a little kiss. It's time to say goodbye. First, can you touch your nose? Then, can you touch your toes? Then, can you turn around? It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say